Hey everybody, today is September 24th, 2013. It's me, DG Tronic, and I'm back with another app review video. Okay, so this week's app is perfect for people who are interested in learning Spanish. It's called HS Spanish, right there. And it's a really cool app. It has a lot of features to it. Now, usually the first time when you um, open the app, it tells you that it needs to sync data, and it may take a few minutes to sync the data, so don't be impatient. Wait it out. Anyways, so... You get a lot of options when you open up this app. At the bottom, you get some interesting options. Um, writing tips, grammar, dictionary, flashcards, and comprehension. So, for the purpose of this review, let's start with flashcards. Anyways, uh, the flashcards have a lot of different options in themselves. Basic vocabulary, verbs, pronouns, and down the list you go. So let's say you want to learn some basic vocabulary in Spanish. You click it, you get all these different options. Let's say I want to learn the colors, okay. Now you have the option of choosing your uh, flashcard to be from English to Spanish or from Spanish to English. Let's say you know English and you want to learn Spanish, so you choose the first option and here are the flashcards, as you can see. What's interesting is you want to know the Spanish meaning of the word gray. You double tap this, and there is the meaning. But there's also the option to have the pronunciation. Right up here, there is a little speaker icon. You tap that. Gray. That's the Spanish for the English for that's the pronunciation for the English word. Now let's hear the pronunciation for the Spanish word. Gris. And once you decided that you've learned this word and you don't want to see it again, just tap that little green check mark up there. And it tells you, got it. By clicking OK, you will not be presented this word next time but you will see it again in the opposite language combination. All right, let's try this one. Pink is rosato or rosata. Let's see. Rosado. Rosado. Okay, rosado. That was close enough. The scrolling is kind of tricky, not as smooth as it needs to be. There's all the different colors. Let me demo something else for you. Let's get out of flashcards. Let's go to um, dictionary. And okay, so here is a bunch of words in Spanish and in English with their meanings in the opposite language. Let's say AM. You want to see what that is in Spanish. AM as in morning. That translates to the la manana. Unfortunately, they don't have the pronunciation on this section. I don't know if it's a bug or something, but um, it feels like it should have pronunciation for this. But as you can see on top, there's no pronunciation. It just tells you that it's an adverb in this case, and it's the la manana, if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. Okay, they have the pronunciations here for the original word, but not for the translation. So, for AM, they have this. AM. But that's English, okay. Let's try a Spanish word here. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Abaca? I guess we'll see. Abaca. Abaca. It's a noun. And it means Manila, I guess, according to the translation here. So that's the dictionary segment for you. There's a lot of words there, as you can see. Let's go to the grammar section. Um, 
Oh God, I, I'm not a fan of grammar myself. Let's say conjugations. Oh, let's say you want to do the perfect tense. Here it gives you a description and an explanation on how to do that. Present perfect, indicative mood, the perfect tense, the explanation for it, how to form it, and it gives you an example. And at the bottom, it gives you these cards where I'm not sure if, I, if I'm supposed to be able to like make them like appear bigger. Like I tap on them, nothing happens, but I can read them. So I guess in a way it tells you how to conjugate these, um, if you can read them, if you have a good eyesight. It, nothing happens, I flick it up, I tap it, I tap it twice, and I don't know. Anyways. So right there, that's grammar. Let's do writing tips. Writing tips, let's say you want to learn how to write an essay in Spanish. Quick tips. It tells you how to do it. And it gives you links to websites that you can use for testing yourself, for using examples. Alright, let's try comprehension. Now this part is a little advanced, to be honest with you. It's not for someone who is just beginning to learn Spanish, in my opinion, because I'll show you why. Let's say the very first one. It gives you a reading on the left, all in Spanish, and to me it's not an easy reading as someone who doesn't know Spanish. I looked at it and I'm like, huh? It gives you a reading on the left and it gives you a bunch of questions, all in Spanish on the right to test yourself. This app is actually really good. It's just that if it's trying to be only for beginners, this part, the comprehension part, kind of misses and it aims for more advanced users. It's not a bad thing. I guess I just wish there was a gap between this comprehension part and a more advanced level. Anyways, um... Yeah, that's about it for this app. It's a really cool app. It's called HS Spanish. And I believe... Uh, you know what? I'm not going to tell you the price because I honestly don't remember what it costs. But if you're into learning Spanish, if you know a little bit, you want to improve, this is definitely worth it. It has quite a bit of work for you on the app. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash dgtronic. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash dgtronic. Give me comments, leave me suggestions. I will see you in the next video.